Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Nova. Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's Celebrity Star. Ten have announced The Bachelors mm. will premiere on Monday the 9th of January. Now, this one wrapped about six months ago. But they held off because the love, the real love boat needed the, the, the limelight. To hit a nice boat. Of course. <laughs> Dead ahead, my friend. Uh, anyway, uh, January 9th, it's in the traditional I'm a celeb spot, mm-hmm. um, which we'll go to air later. Yeah. And it's going back to South Africa this time. Right. I like the, I'm uh, a celeb. The celeb. The I do too. I do too. I love that. Kids. I love that first episode when you see who's who's stuck in there, you know? Yeah, the reveal. I'm guessing Daniel Doody this year. Ah, uh, the great Doody. The great Doody. The safe hands of Doody. I feel like he should be the next star because he's crackers and cute. I think, yeah. I think it'd be Toady. Toady'd be still under contract. 100% it's Toady. Smart, John. Anyway, this is supposed to be a talk break about The Bachelors, which gives you an idea about how much interest people may have. Uh, there's three Bachelors this year. And they three. Fight. And they fight each other. They fight oiled up and yes. naked. And um, they don't really. Um, and there's also an article uh, doing the rounds this morning shading Bachelors Jed, which is the one who looks like Machine Gun Kelly. Mm. And Thomas M- Maluc- Maluccelli, who's a real cutie, actually, like a bit of a silver fox. Mm. Um, f- they tried to get into the mum marquee at the birdcage yesterday and they were KB'd. Really? That's Whoa, not Kylie enough. Brown, that's knocked back. Really? Oh, geez, Which actually, actually is the same thing. I think to get so. KB'd is the same as being knocked back. I get it all the time. And Kylie Brown. <laughs> How's things at home, mate? Yep, okay. No, all good. All good. Getting there. Hey, speaking of uh, things that sad things at home, Kanye's still gone gone through some stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's what going, a segue! Yeah. I'm not on the same level as you might be. Nova, Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang, and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's celebrity star. Guys, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift news. She's become the first musician to claim the entire top ten on the Billboard Hot 100. Right? What? That's Drake. Hard, Dana. Drake had the top nine, and I've got a I've got an announcement. Yeah. I am on board with Midnight's now. Okay. The fifth and sixth li- uh, listen for me, done. It's done. Me. I, I'm the problem, it's me. Yes, Taylor. My latest favourite yesterday on my walk was Labyrinth. I give that to you. Oh, yeah? I had an excellent conversation with the great Georgie Tunney about another track. Anyway, when you say it was great excellent, album. You, for you? For me, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, you would have wanted to kill yourself, as you say. But for me and Tunny, okay. heaven. Just clarifying. Bitches can talk about Taylor Swift until we're blue in the face. Hey, I should, mate, I should, I should like, uh, check in with you today, like about 2 o'clock, and we have a, you and I just on the phone have a good old chat about Taylor Swift, you and I, Danny. Oh, yeah. Patch me in. Patch me in. Patch, patch me in and we can really? talk about our favourite tracks. We've still got hope for Katy Perry. Is it? What? Beautiful. Settle down, Graham. Well, in what way? Because I have no hope. Well, two or Katie three Perry. years ago, they were neck and neck. Yeah. And, you know, they were, they were bone crush Real Waverly Star. That is true. Drawn yeah. away, John. They're drawn away. Katy Perry's done. Last time I saw Katy Perry. Well, she was last time I saw her, she was at a club throwing pizzas into the crowd. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, <laughs> that menu log ad was good. It was a menu log ad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'll notice yeah. Taylor's not doing menu log <laughs> ads. <laughs> good on you, Gramps. Taylor's not doing menu log ads because she's too busy speaking to our souls. Correct. Top ten on the billboard. What a mag on the billboard hot one hundred. What a magnificent creature and. This is so good. I got a text message from Clementine Ford yesterday going, do you know anything about Taylor Swift touring Australia? And I said, I do not, but I'm going to find out today because she has announced her ERAs tour, her first tour in five years, which is scheduled to be in the US in March 2023 and running to August. I mean... There's a chance that it could turn into an Australian tour. Oh, so we there? don't know yet. We don't. Oh, oh, but oh. she's announced the American down. leg. <laughs> the on. American oh, leg. Poor, poor Brownie. Yes. You're a bit flat over there. I was up and about because my, my, my daughter Olivia loves Taylor Swift. Oh, I would lose my mind. Um, are there any more hooks from Midnight's there? Real quick, we got quick. We got Karma. Yes. Maroon. 
original favourite. Am I right? This is the story. This is the song about um, yeah, former Wally Lewis. Wally Lewis and Fatty Borton. <laughs> is that right? An ode to Fatty. An ode to Fat. Okay, great. It's uh, an ode to Fatty Vorton. The first single off is Antihero. Yeah, we're playing this next. And, um, Hi, it's me. I'm the problem, it's me. Nova. Chrissy Swan. Sam Pang. And Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's celebrity star. Ricky Gervais has called out James Corden for repeating a joke from one of his stand-up shows, basically word for word. This is the cr- most cringeworthy audio I've heard for a long time, and things just seem to be getting going from bad to worse for James Corden. Have a listen. If someone puts up a poster That's in James a town Corden. square that says guitar lessons available. That's like going into a town square, seeing a big notice board, and there's a notice guitar lessons. Like you don't get people in the town go, I don't want to play the guitar! And you go, but I don't f- want guitar lessons. <laughs> wasn't for you. It was for somebody else. You don't have to get mad about all of it. Fine. It's not for you then. Just walk away. Don't worry about it. Whoa. Whoa. So Ricky Gervais has heard that and um, tweeted, the bit about the town square advert for the guitar lessons is brilliant. (laughs) (laughs) And um, obviously, you know, came to everybody's attention that it was completely (laughs) ripped off. Sam, you're a comedian. Oh, yeah, radio. Oh, How right. do you think this happens? Because I think it's someone in in James Corden's inner circle trying to ruin his life. Oh, really? Yeah. You think it was calculated by one of the writers to yep. put that into his head? Did yep. James Corden wouldn't know, wouldn't have heard that Ricky Gervais bit? He hadn't. He said, I inadvertently told a brilliant Ricky Gervais joke on the show last night, obviously not <laughs> knowing it came from him. I inadvertently did it word for word. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, you know what? Judith Lucy's coming up, and um, I've stolen a lot of her gear over the years, <laughs> so she may have a more, you know, a more uh, learned take. Well, I've on heard it, by the, the way. Co- comedians tour is just a compilation of <laughs> jokes aren't funny over the last seven years, Sam. Yeah, that's why I'm doing three minutes. <laughs> My take on it is that James Corden's writers have stitched him up, screwed him over. Yeah. Show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Oh, unless it's a weekend. Nova 100. 